Hey everybody, today we're going to go over hip clip. Hip clip uses AI to take your, your videos and chop them up into shorter clips for social media and other content purposes. That's a pretty cool tool. This is their homepage right here. And they have their a free, try it free. And then their $29 a month to $20 a month plan. I guess most would go for the $29 a month. They are currently offering a lifetime deal, one-time payment on AppSumo. You can visit their page on AppSumo.com and you'll see the price starts at $49. And it's pretty good value. Um, $49 for four hours, four hours of transcription. That's video input. So four hours of upload time. And then you could export as much as your heart desires. And then if you want to pay a little more, 129, 279, et cetera, it goes higher. But most people, $49 value, four hours, that's a lot. And if you feel like 10 hours, you need more, go for that. So let's go back to the homepage, log in here. And you'll see this is the dashboard of HipClip. You can switch to dark mode for people that love dark mode, keep it light. Here you have the exports. So any of the clips that I've created in the past, they're here and you can download them from here. The billing, if you want to upgrade your plan, ask for help, sign out. You can create folders to move your files to. This is one of the folders I created for follower, did a little, some clips on that one. Go back to projects. All of these convert media to text, remove fillers and silences, generate captions with AI, turn long videos into clips. They all go to the same spot. You could also just upload file here if you'd like. Here are your options. You will browse from your computer. That's your, my device, Google Drive, Zoom, Dropbox, OneDrive, and the max is two gigs. You can upload from anywhere. They currently do not have a YouTube URL upload, which a lot of these tools do have. It makes life a lot easier. Um, but for my use case with HipClip is I've been trying to sort of use it as a Descript substitute. I shouldn't say alternative because Descript is the gold standard. Descript is probably one of the best tools on the market for a long time now, and it offers a lot of features, more features than HipClip has or these other tools have. Uh, I know a lot of people out there have been comparing HipClip to Minvo. Minvo is currently another video AI tool on AppSumo. Minvo is great, but Minvo is more in the Opus world. If you've used Opus before, Minvo is very similar. HipClip offers many features that Opus does and Minvo. They are kind of similar, but I've always thought of HipClip as Descript like, which we'll go into more now. Opus will give you the quick clips. AI will chop it up for you. Very nice interface, works great. It's fast. HipClip, I like to upload the raw file that I've just recorded and then go through and edit it to then post it on YouTube or social media, the full video where yes, Minvo can do this, but it's really more meant for the shorter clips, but not to confuse you, hip clip can also do the shorter clips, but let's go into it so you can take a look. I already have uploaded a video right here, actually a video on Minvo. Let's click on that. So you'll see here very similar dashboard to kind of like the script, what they have. Now, HipClip does not have, again, all the features the script has. That's why it's not really a true alternative. Maybe one day HipClip will have it, but it won't have if you want to replace a word with the AI voice uh, cloning to say it, to substitute one word in speech that you don't want there or to fix something there. But it will easily go through and edit your raw video. So I uploaded something that I would upload to YouTube. Usually I use Descript for it. Now Descript does a great job. It automatically goes through, gets out the ums and the awkward pauses. It does it very quickly. 
This one will remove the ums for the most part. If you click here, filters, see, there are 52. And let's play the video just so you get an idea how this works. Hey, what's, what's going on, on everybody? Let's, let's take, take a, a look, look at, at Minvo. Minvo, Minvo take. So you see the, and there's actually us in this video right now that I'm doing. So I'll probably have to edit this in hip clip. I'm going to try. I'm still using the script, but for this use case, hip clip can do the job pretty well. So you saw that right there. You heard that. And right now it highlights all the uhs and ums. It's really easy to see. I like this. This is very, it's more of a raw dashboard. Nothing fancy. Mimvo, Opus have a very nice, they chop it up for you. They give you everything you need. Boom, ready to export. You can go in the other tools and export. But here, you can actually just highlight and cut and export from there. If you want to do the mini clips, you can from here. But what I want to show you is the quickness of taking a raw video, putting it in hip clip, and just hitting apply to remove the filler words, 52 of them, the uhs and all that stuff. So I'm hitting apply, check, and look, all of a sudden, it puts a cross, a slash right through the ums and the uhs, found all of them. So now when we play it, hey, what's going on, everybody? Let's take a look at Minvo. Minvo takes your videos and turns them into clips or moments. Using AI, it will go through a video that you upload or... Uh... Don't get confused. We have Minvo as a sample, but we're talking about hip clip. Now you can also remove the silences longer than 1.5 seconds. We can change this, we can lower it, raise it. So all these dots right here are the pauses, the silences. Let's leave it at 1.5, hit apply. And you'll see, look at that line right through all those dots there, line right through there. So there's some shorter ones here that it did not apply to, but you could just highlight, hit delete, puts a line through it. Let's go right here. YouTube clips, they've been pretty. You see that? It skipped that whole silence. Here it shows profanity. There's one and buzzwords two. I don't remember cursing during the Minvo uh, recording, so I'm not sure. Still trying to figure this out, but you get the idea. Now, again, my use case for hip clip is to take a raw video, put it in here, boom, do this, and then just hit export. It removes the silences uh, and removes the ums and the uhs. The script will remove more words on the $30 a month plan. Uh, that's what I've been using. Uh, it's a little sharper on that, but if you're just getting started or if you're looking for a, another tool that's offering a lifetime deal and for the $49 or whatever it is, uh, the script pro plan is $30 a month. So if you have a bunch of videos, you want to get started right away, that's why I recommend trying hip clip and see how it works for you. Because right now you can just take this, boom, export it, download it, and upload to YouTube, you're ready to go, rather than going through and manually removing all the ums and the uhs. Another thing, we can go through, and if there's words in here that you just don't want, you can see from the UI, it's easy to just say, hey, I, I don't want this right here, but right now. So just hit delete, and that will not play on the exported downloaded video. So very easy to see, and over here is what's playing. Now you can, it does have the AI Clips feature, like an Opus or a Minvo with scoring. So it will, with the AI, find clips that will work and that it thinks will work well on social media. So you can just hit the clip, boom, these are done, export your clips. You can also add captions. Uh, you can choose any of these, just click Add Captions, and you can move it around easily. But uh, they changed it. This is great. See? You can upload up to two, two, two hours. hours. But, but once, once it's... it's... And I like how you just move it around anywhere you want. You can change the font, the background effects. You can make it larger. You don't even want your face. Say you're not on camera and you're just sharing your screen. This is great. You can just do this. You can down here change from landscape mode to portrait mode. Kind of moves that. Same thing. So it does a good job on the 
shorts. You can upload images if you want to throw those in there. So it's very nice. And you can delete this if you want, get rid of that. All right, so we see that. Now, if you want to manually go through, because you don't like a lot of these AI tools, the, the stuff it selects, and I have a problem with that sometimes where it'll select clips that don't make sense or I don't really like them. You just go through and you can highlight very easily what you'd like. Say we want this right here or this sentence, or we'll stop at video for some reason. You just hit that, hit clip, and then you name it whatever you want. Test that. It'll cut that and make that into a clip. And now you have your little clip. So if you're more of a manual type of person, you don't rely on that AI to choose your own adventure. Uh, this is great. And then you say play. You upload the video file. Or what I prefer to do is import, import copy, copy paste, paste the URL from, from your YouTube, YouTube channel, channel or any. And then if you want to take any word, you can just double click it, change YouTube to poop. There you go. Now let's go to captions. Let's add these captions. And then you see it shows poop. Only thing it doesn't do what the script does is actually can you could actually on there you could change it to say poop. Any YouTube channel wherever you can see here it says YouTube still, but it shows poop. Fun. All right. So you get that. Go back. Click there. And then we can go back to the page. So here is the test that I created. This is the master copy. And there you go. This is what it looks like. This is what hip clip looks like. There are a lot of tools now, more and more of these coming out. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily keep hip clip. I did pick up Mimvo, I have right Panda, Pictory, and then I have Opus and Descript. I mean, there's so many, but this one interests me a lot because it's very easy to use. Uh, there are times where there is an awkward playback, but on export download, it plays fine, just like Minvo. Minvo has similar bugs. This user interface for me is easier to use if you're just looking to go in and clean up your video that you just recorded. That's the use case. That's why I say they're not direct competitors. Yes, they do create short clips using AI. But if you're looking to just do that on autopilot, Minvo is probably a better tool for you. Minvo, more like Opus. If you like more flexibility, like Descript, HipClip. But again, I'm not saying HipClip is an alternative to Descript. Descript has a lot more features, but HipClip is a newer tool low price, one-time payment, $49. That's like a month and a half or two months of using the script on the pro plan. If you want to get started, try it out, use it. It's very nice, easy. As you can see, the transcription is very accurate and it has some nice caption options. It's just an easy interface to use. So let me know what you think. Try it out. Let me know your feedback in the comments. Yes, again, we have dark mode and it works pretty well. And I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Bye-bye. See ya.